Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Wednesday, October 28, 2015. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. The Social Services Department's Senior Citizens Division last evening held its annual gala and awards ceremony. The event took place at the Occasions Events Center at Pinney's. Fedisa Libert has the details. The Seniors Division hosted its third annual gala and awards ceremony yesterday, Tuesday, October 28th at the Occasions Complex as part of the International Month of Older Persons Activities. The ceremony, which was held under the theme, Nothing for Us Without Us, saw Frank Clark introducing the Master of Ceremony, Eric Evelyn, who delivered brief remarks. Evelyn commended the department for the work it has been doing for the seniors. I also want to commend Mrs. Brandy Williams, the minister, and her department, and especially the seniors division. Because I believe our seniors in Nevis are getting the best treatment ever that any seniors anywhere in the world are getting. And I'm serious about that. I don't believe any seniors anywhere in the Caribbean or anywhere in the world gets the kind of treatment that our seniors get. And you notice every year something else gets added to the program, to the month of activities, and it's getting better and better and better every year. You know, I don't want to steal your thunder, Minister Brandy Williams, but I must commend the seniors division for really doing a marvelous job. I think Mrs. Hendrickson, she's not here, but she and her team those in the office, those in the field are doing really a great job with our seniors. The Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams was also present at the gala in her capacity as Junior Minister of Social Development. Our honorees tonight, Mr. Winston Hanley, Mrs. Florence Ella Merchant, Ms. Lorna Doris, Mrs. Pauline Brister, and the nurse Myrna Webb have made and continue to make a sterling contribution in various areas to the development of Nevis. It is my belief that all seniors should be treated fairly, respected, and allowed to live a life of dignity. And that is why we at the Ministry of Social Development, Social Services Department, and in particular the Seniors Division, Continue to laud your achievements in agriculture, health, and the community services, among others. And we give you your flowers yet while alive so that you can enjoy them and let, to let you know that your contributions to nation building has not gone unnoticed. Lana Doris France, Myrna Webb, Winston Hanley, Florence Ella Merchant, and Pauline Brister were awarded for outstanding work done in their various communities. The award for Sportswoman of the Year went to Sarah Brown, while the award for the Social Worker of the Year went to Gloria Vaughan. The seniors also modeled various fashion hats, while the Sugar Hill String Band provided the musical accompaniment. A prayer was done by senior Myron Liburd and senior Ioni Swanston rendered a poem. The vote of thanks was delivered by social worker Yvette Inglis. Reporting for the Nevis Newscast, I am Fredicia Liburd. Activities in celebration of International Month of Older Persons will climax on Friday with the senior citizens on Nevis traveling to St. Kitts to participate in a march with seniors there. As the Inland Revenue Department commences its awareness campaign for the fourth quarter, it continues to encourage taxpayers to understand and meet their obligations to the department and to know their rights. The Inland Revenue Department continues to remind residents of the importance of paying taxes and urges taxpayers to be compliant in order to avoid the payment of interest and penalties. That it is your obligation to pay your taxes on time, one of which is the property tax. This is due 
on or before the 30th of June of each year. Failure to pay on time will result in interest and penalties. If for some reason you're unable to pay your taxes in full, we at the collection unit can offer you a payment plan. So feel free to come in and talk to one of our officers and we will be more than happy to assist you. Paying your taxes helps with the development of this country. So be a responsible citizen. The department is encouraging residents to know and learn more about the taxes they pay and others which may apply to them. All business persons who engage in any business activity must apply for a business license at the Ministry of Finance. The fee is payable at the Inland Revenue Department. Each business license expires on the 31st of December each year and it's renewed on or before the 31st of January of that following year. Failure to renew your license on the due date will result in interest and penalties. Any individual who sells liquor without a license shall be liable to a penalty not exceeding $5,000. The next tax I would like to inform you about is the unincorporated business tax. This tax is levied at 4% on gross or services by any business. This tax is payable quarterly at the Inland Revenue Department. The final tax is the unincorporated business tax. This applies to any business that is unincorporated, which means that you're not a company. This is at 4% on the gross receipt of sales and services. Outstanding taxes attract interest of 1% and a penalty of $100 per month after the due date. The Inland Revenue Department invites taxpayers to visit its customer service office to settle all outstanding taxes and to help resolve their tax situation. Taxpayers can also like the department's Facebook page for daily updates and use its website www.sknird.com to get information about the department. The motto of the Inland Revenue Department is building our nation through responsible tax administration. The Nevis Island Administration's Ministry of Finance is urging the island's small business owners to invest in infrastructure for their enterprises. The Ministry's Small Enterprise Development Unit, SEDU, recently concluded its training of a second batch of business owners in the use of QuickBooks accounting software, which will help them to better maintain their financial records. The Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Finance is Colin Doerr. When you leave here, please make the necessary investment in infrastructure in your organization. For those of you who do not have computer systems, please invest in computer systems. They're not very expensive. Invest in the necessary software. Because what I would want is when the officers from CEDO, Ms. Forbes and, and Mr. Hendricks, when they come out to your organization, we have to be able to assess where you are. If you need help in whatever transaction, they will always be on hand to come out to help you, but of course they can only help you if you have the system in place. We no longer want to leave you and go back to a manual system. You have graduated, we are way past that, and we are now fully computerized in all 28 small and micro organizations. And so we want you to rise to that challenge. Utilize the reports properly. The financial report, they'll tell you on a daily basis where you stand, both in terms of revenue, expenditure, and your inventory. That's a critical part. Those things are now right at your fingertips. It can help you to manage properly and turn your organization around. CEDU Director Catherine Forbes says the unit will continue to give small business owners the necessary support to grow their businesses. At CEDU, we do offer um, incentives to small businesses so that um, for those of you who may wish to purchase, you can call on us and we will grant you some concessions so that you can get those computers at a more affordable rate so that you can fully computerize your business. We also offer small loans and so for those of you who may not have the funds up front right now to purchase, we can also assist you in that area. So don't let not having it be a deterrent to not starting because in having um, gone through and graduated from this course, one of the things that would be easier for you is that if we would have trained you, uh, we would definitely help you. So we wouldn't just train you and leave you. 
So we will do all in our powers to ensure that you have the necessary tool to grow your business. So far, the Small Enterprise Development Unit, in collaboration with the CityBee's Caribbean Technological Consultancy Services, has trained 28 business owners through the workshop on management accounting systems for micro, small and medium enterprises. Still to come, Navision students capture first place in OECS essay competition. The details after this break. Hey, you know it's your groovy so common acting, your boy Speedy, and I'm here with the Inland Revenue Department. And I love my side dish. And guess what? I also love Nevis too. And as a responsible taxpayer, your tax dollars help to build our nation. So I'm here to tell you, pay your taxes on time and be a responsible citizen. And don't get me wrong, it's a serious song. I pay my taxes. Boom! Welcome back. Ron J. Williams of Gingerland Secondary School and Brianna Brantley, who represented the Charleston Secondary School, are the first place winners in the respective categories of the 2014-2015 OECS essay competition hosted and sponsored by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, ECCB. Williams emerged winner of the age 14 to 16 category with his essay on the topic, Given the advancement in communication and the technology, the current policy regarding students' use of cell phones at school needs revising. Williams is of the view that cell phones can irrefutably aid in educational and social development. However, they can prove a failure in other areas including classroom concentration and social problems. Bantley won the age 17 to 19 category with her discussion on the same topic. She suggests that current policies regarding students' use of cell phones at school need to be revised as the advantages of these devices outweigh the detriments. She further states that the use of these devices can lead to an improvement in standardized test scores. The OSS essay competition, which is part of the ECCB's Community Outreach Program, is aimed at encouraging critical thinking and raising the awareness of secondary school and college students in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union on issues of economic and social development. In the age 17 to 19 category, Nadia Brown of the Montserrat Community College captured second place while Fazim Persaud of the Nevis Sixth Form College placed third. The first place winners in each category will each be awarded a $2,500 cash prize and a grant of $1,500 will be awarded to their respective schools. The students who place the second will each receive $1,500 and their schools will be presented with a grant of $1,000 while the third place winners will each receive $1,000 and their schools a grant of $500. The Hearts and Hands for Nevis Incorporated, yesterday, Tuesday, October 27th, made a donation of school supplies to the Department of Education. Representative of the Hearts and Hands for Nevis Incorporated, Lonet Manners, gave a brief history of the group and its mission statement. This group is based in New York City. They are in their 18th year of existence and they have been doing things from time to time for Nevisions. Presently, they have another project going at the hospital where the new mothers receive kits for the newborn baby. So they are ticking. Their mission statement reads, positively affecting the lives of Nevisions and friends at home and abroad by creating communities committed to service, integrity, and excellence. Manners then presented the donation to Principal Education Officer Paul Zewilkin. On behalf of the Ministry and the Department of Education, on behalf of the principals, and on behalf of the students, the parents, and all those who will get these um, resources, I want to say a special thank you to Hearts and Hands for Nevis Incorporated. I really want to show thanks and appreciation, first of all, to the president, Mrs. Alistine Clark Sutton. She was my schoolmate, my classmate. 
She is the president of the organization. She was the first person who made contact to say that they were having this drive for our school children in Nevis. And so she made sure that she informed us of the decision that was taken by the group to go on this drive so that we could have these resources for our students. Hearts and Hands for Nevis Incorporated is based in New York and is in its 18th year of existence. Meantime, the St. Kitts and Nevis Association in Washington, D.C. also recently donated school supplies to the Department of Education. The official handing over was held on St. Kitts. Present at the handing over ceremony were teachers from primary schools around the island who accepted the donation, which included backpacks, books, pens, and folders. As the Caribbean is a very seismic active region, countries continue to undertake various tsunami readiness activities. In support of their ongoing multimedia earthquake and the tsunami public education campaign, the National Emergency Management Agency and the Nevis Disaster Management Department hosted consultant Carlos Rodriguez over the period 19 to 23rd October. While in the Federation, the consultant also met with officers at the Physical Planning Department, made site visits on both islands, and collected data towards the development of tsunami evacuation maps. Rodriguez of Global Matrix Engineering and Geomatics, Puerto Rico, developed similar maps for several countries in the Caribbean, thus has appropriate expertise to undertake the assignment. In undertaking his work, the consultant will also identify safe zones, assembly points and evacuation routes in the event of a tsunami threat. The draft maps will be presented to key stakeholders within two weeks and feedback given to Rodriguez towards finalization. The maps and related signs will be presented to the public and installed at appropriate locations on both islands in early 2016 as part of a follow-up project to be sponsored by the U.S. Agency for International Development. Rodriguez's visit was made possible by the Caribbean Tsunami Warning Program at the University of Puerto Rico, the Caribbean Tsunami Information Center on Barbados, and funded by the United Nations Development Program. That's it for this evening's edition of the Nevis Newscast. I'm Donis Wilkinson-Keynes. Thank you for viewing. Good night.